three. So we're in Cape Town and I'm taking a little road trip. We're doing a few vlogs about the road trip. I'm here with my friend Pierre. He's here from England for a visit. We've got the bucky. We packed. There's Table Mountain behind us, part of it. And we're taking the road up to the Northern Cape in the direction of the west, western, northerly direction of South Africa from Cape Town up the coast. I don't know exactly sure how we're going to drive or where we're going to, what we're going to do. We're just going to go and see what happens. So let's see what happens. Let's go. First stop in Malmesbury. We're just having a quick stop here, getting some uh, a few beers for me and some milk and stuff. And we're driving on. Pierre's driving, so he's not having any beer. I will be having the beer. I will travel up the coast, or not the coast, up the N7 to the hinterland. him again in the parking lot. He's taking up by precious beer drinking time. Pierre has his traveling vibe now going there with the hat and the sunglasses. Going to the country. picnic break it's a bit windy so I don't, don't know how the noise is gonna be we're having like a bit of we're gonna make a coffee now for beer I'm still having a beer and uh, we have some uh, nice brewer boars beer and some nice sandwiches from Piers Mara and uh, we're just chilling out it's just nice to be out of the city for a while chilling out and Chilling, relaxing, not planning too much, we're just traveling to see what's going to happen. Grandmother used to live here. I came and visited here when I was a 
little boy, I was famous for stealing the chips and chocolates out of a cafe. She owned. Criminal mind right from the get go. Hi, Philip. I need some baking soda because I have acid. So we're stopping in for rainstorm quickly. Hello. Huh. It's the first time I'm out of Cape Town in about a month since I arrived there. It's really cool to be out of town and a small town vibe and there's a bit of a psychedelic atmosphere going around here. I've got all these lights on you in uh, for Reinsdorp. it's kind of interesting but besides that it's just quiet a lot of trucks not much else so there's Pierre buying some stuff food or whatever because he might try and stay over at the Nudeville Hotel a small town a bit further on I'm very tired if the hotel is open and if they have rooms and if you want a unisex toilet in the Karua, in this part of South Africa, you can come here to the good store. They also have homemade pies in their deli and have all these lights for the psychedelic Karua ambiance. Okay, we decided to buy some mutton pies. I don't think that you get these pies anywhere else except around here. And they look delicious. Look at these delicious pies. Mutton pies, please. <laughs> Got my ticket, the mutton pie ticket. It's legit. Two mutton pies, please. Ah, oh, I have to get the slip here and then pay there and then come pick it up here. So you go back and forth for the pies. Thank you. So I just said, wow, that's quite expensive for pies, but she said it's mutton, which is expensive, and it's homemade here. So this is going to be the mutton pie experience. I'm looking forward to this. Give me one. I'm going to eat it outside like a pig, and you're going to like video me. One karoo mutton pie going down the hatch. Mm. No reason to get excited. Be kindly exposed. There are many here among us who feel that life is but a joke. But you and I, we've been through that. And this is not our fate. So let us not talk falsely now. Fortunately, it's a bit dark, but I'm going to put the bag over my head now. Looks like there's a power cut in town. There's no light, so I'm going to record a bit of audio. But I'm sitting here with the bag over my head. Seeing if they are here, if anything will happen. And uh, see if I can guess who I am. I haven't been here for years. So it's a bit of an awkward, weird joke. But uh, we are committed to. This is the bag over my head. Looks like a horror movie. Low budget, low light, I don't worry. 